The owner of uh, an American bully in the US, which has hundreds of descendants here in the UK, has said that she is outraged at Rishi Sunak's proposal to ban the breed. This is Mr Goodbar, the XL bully who's renowned for his size and appearance, with his offspring living all around the world. The breed which the Prime Minister declared a danger to our communities is responsible for 70% of fatal dog attacks in the UK in the last year despite only making up 1% of the UK dog population. Well, Catherine Sabra is live from LA with Mr Goodbar there, and Dr Lawrence Newport is here in the studio in London. Uh, he has spearheaded the campaign to ban the breed in the UK, which has been a successful campaign. But, Catherine, let, let me come to you. If, as you would contend, it's the owners and not the breed that's the problem, then why are these dogs responsible in our country for 70% of fatal attacks, despite, as Susanna said, only making up 1% of the canine population. Well, I think these dogs have grown a lot in popularity, especially since COVID. There was 3.2 million pets that came in during COVID, and a lot of these dogs were, unfortunately, you know, went to all different homes. And at the end of the day, during COVID, they couldn't be socialized, they couldn't walk, they couldn't do other things like that. And sorry, 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 he's being very playful. But at the end of the day, can you hear me still? Yes, per hear okay. you perfectly. At, yeah. at the end of the day, I... Oh, okay, sorry, because he's playing around with me. At the end of the day, I think that obviously it, the, the dogs are going in the wrong hands of the people. And it's hard for me to really comment on the specific breeds because a lot of what I've seen in the media don't look like these dogs. They don't look like this dog. But I'm not here to discuss these dogs that are doing attacks. I'm here to discuss the American bully that I know that in 10 years of breeding, I've, I've never personally had one of them attack me or seen any of them attack a person. It's huge. Your dog is absolutely massive. I mean, even as I watch you playing around with him, I think, you know, you clearly have brought him up, care for him, I'm not disputing that. But if he decided to turn on you, you wouldn't have a chance. He's 100% not going to. 100% not going to. If I thought that these dogs, after 10 years of dealing with them, were going to turn on people, I wouldn't do what I do. If I thought that these dogs were a, a, a teeny bit dangerous to people, my mom, who's 75 years old, wouldn't have one of these dogs. Do you know what? Um, that's exactly... This, these that's dogs ex have never turned on me. That's exactly what the owners of these dogs in this country said until the day that the dog did turn whether it turned on them, and it's usually on the families. It's not usually on strangers out and about. It's usually on a family member, and it can happen like that. And you know that. I mean, you know that, that we're not making this up. These dogs, I mean, you, you, you have full confidence in yours there, but these dogs can turn on a dime, as you say, in America. And when they do, they are huge. I mean, that one weighs about nine stone, uh, which is, you know, like a young, a young adult male. Um, they have incredibly ten strong stones, jaw. They have incredibly yes. strong jaws. Actually, ten stone. Ten stone. I, thank you. And they have incredibly Even strong heavier. jaws, which, when they bite down, uh, can crush bone. If they do turn, and they do, they're very dangerous. So if they turn, but I, I've dealt with more dogs than probably anybody that's speaking right now, mm -hmm. of these dogs. And I've dealt with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them over the course of 10 to 15 years, and never, ever have I seen one turn. Okay. Never have they turned on me. So if these dogs are so dangerous, why have I never seen one turn? That, you, I, you, I can just speak yeah. about these dogs. Now, okay. again, there's a lot... Hold on, can I just finish real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, of course. There's a lot of speculation about these breeds that are getting deemed American bully. Mm -hmm. And so I don't really want to get into a huge debate about what the breed of these dogs that are doing these attacks are, a lot of them don't look like this dog. So also defining the actual breed is super important too. But I can tell you these dogs, they're not attacking. How would you define that one in terms of breed? This is a American bully. Right. So Dr. An XL bully isn't really a, a breed. Yeah. This okay. is an American bully. Okay. Yeah. So Dr. Lawrence Newport, why do you think that she's wrong? Uh, I think there's a variety of statistics here that are pretty concerning. So you've already said about uh, over 70% of deaths since 2021. The significance of that is that the American bully was, uh, until around about 2015, uh, illegal in the UK because it was seen as a pit bull variant. 
They are from Pitbull stock. In fact, many of the bloodlines of the American bully are directly in the late 80s, early 90s from fighting pit bulls. These are pit bulls that were in pit fights and would kill another dog. They, they were bred to do that? Yes. They were bred and, to kill? Yeah. Uh, originally, yes. And then what they were was then bred repeatedly over around about 30 years for various shapes and sizes. And those shapes are just different enough to not count as a pit bull in around 2015. And then, of course, they were imported quite a lot in 2018. And by the time they start hitting the age of majority, three years old, 2021, we start seeing them reflected in the fatalities. And since then, they've been responsible for not only 70%, but in 2022, the largest single year on record of deaths to dogs in this country ever. Why do they turn? Uh, she says hers never have, and we have to take her word for that, but they do turn. Um, why? Um, it's really difficult. It depends on the different situations. I mean, the Birmingham attack, for instance, was uh, triggered by a, an 11-year-old girl running past the dog. Mm -hmm. um, so, really, the... the that the was the attack a couple of weeks ago, yes. um, where the girl, I think, was uh, bitten on the arm. Yes. And um, she said that she thought that they should be banned. And, in fact, it was in the wake of that attack that you successfully got the ban, you know, approved by the Prime Minister. Well, the footage there uh, also shows that, that this dog wasn't responding to being scared or frightened or beaten or anything like this, and it was chasing after people. Mm -hmm. um, there's also the case that... Um, 50 per cent of dogs in this country, 50 per cent of American bullies in this country appear to come from Killer Kimbo, one single highly inbred version of this dog. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so inbred it has the same great grandfather four times over. Mm -hmm. um, this, these are fighting dogs bred from originally from fighting stock. And so we shouldn't be surprised if they act. Okay, so what do you say? I mean, Catherine's still there. Uh, they're at Bossy Kennels, and yeah. um, y you know, the dog is simply playful. But it's a massive dog. But what do you say when Catherine says, she, you know, of the hundreds that she's um, responsible for over in this country, she doesn't know of one that has turned on its owner or attacked anybody. It is not uh, the dog's problem. It is not the owners that she's dealing with. It must be other owners who are doing the wrong thing, not looking after their dogs properly. So if it was the owner, you would expect um, we wouldn't have... Several of those who have died were experienced dog handlers, for example. These were not people who we would expect to um, be a textbook example of someone we might call a bad owner. They were either owners of kennels or uh, experienced uh, dog handlers like dog walkers, etc. Mm -hmm. um, this isn't what we would expect to see if it was... Also, if it was the owner, you would expect to see many different large breeds reflected. For example, you can't find... Despite weighing 80 kilos, you cannot find a Great Dane that's killed someone in the UK ever. It's, right, it's... that's a really significant point. Catherine, there are equally big dogs, perhaps even bigger, but they're not responsible for the maulings and deaths that that dog type is, your dog type is. Yeah, I hear what you're saying 100%, but I have to kind of revert back to the point that... Is he saying that this dog could turn on me at any second and, and it's going to? because I would challenge anybody to come out here and you couldn't get this dog to do something aggressive. So you have to kind of look at, okay, then what is the problem? If you ban XL bullies, just like pit bulls were banned or the next breed, it's just going to be another breed. Another breed is going to make the top of the list, right? And the wrong people are going to get those dogs, do the wrong things with them, and then are you going to ban that breed and then the next breed and the next breed and so on and so forth. There are other powerful, strong dog breeds. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that Great Danes... May not, but there are other powerful, strong dog breeds like this that people will get if they want to get them as a fashion accessory or they want to get these dogs for the wrong reasons, they will get them. But this the, ban but, punishes yeah. the responsible owners. But, it doesn't hold the irresponsible people accountable for no. their actions. Although, as you were saying, uh, Dr Lawrence Newport, a lot of those who are victims are actually responsible dog owners. They're not who you might consider irresponsible, who'd bred their dogs, perhaps, or train them to fight. Yeah, or their and, children. And, yeah, and uh, it's, it's also the case that uh, it took 25 years, nearly 30 years, to breed a dog of this level of uh, danger. And, in fact, our pit bull ban has been highly successful. We've had right. very low fatalities. Right. The only time we've had a huge spike is when we let in another pit bull variant, the American bully. Catherine, just to finish with, would you agree with, with me? Tell, tell me if you don't. 
um, that the logic of your argument here... And, of course, you have a vested interest because you make money out of breeding these dogs and selling them here in the UK in, in their hundreds. But the logic of your argument is very similar to the gun lobby in your country, uh, which argues that it's not the guns themselves which, which shoot and kill people, it's the owners of the guns. Mm. Would you agree that, 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 that it, there's a strong parallel between the gun lobby argument and your argument? No, I mean, I wouldn't agree. I wouldn't compare these dogs to guns. Again, it's, it's so funny that there's so many experts in these dogs, but they haven't put their hands on the dogs like I have. They're not the dogs that I know and I have the experience with. So, no, I don't think it's sim these dogs are similar to guns. I think the problem here is irresponsible owners of these dogs getting dogs for the wrong reasons. And if it's not the bully, if it's not the pitbull, it's going to be the American Bulldog, it's going to be the Cane Corso, it's going to be the Mastiff, it's going to be the Doberman Pinscher, and you're going to have to ban all of those breeds. Because if there was a problem with this breed, there are 100, over 100,000 of these dogs in England. You would see a lot more issues, a lot more than what you're seeing. And All right, Catherine. I, I can only speak with the dogs that I know and experience. I can't speak with these dogs that are, are doing these mm -hmm. things. I don't have the knowledge of what the circumstances that surround them are. But I can tell you that my experience with these dogs, and it's not limited. It's, it's far extensive beyond, All right. with due respect, the announcers and beyond the guy okay. doing the research. Catherine, and thank I have Catherine. yet to have... Catherine, uh, we're out of time. Thank you very much for staying up so late uh, in L.A. Uh, to, mm -hmm. to be with us at our breakfast time. Yeah, when will, yeah, when no will the change in the law come in, in this country? Uh, the announcement appeared to be that it would start from December or January and there'll be a year's amnesty time for people to sign up and register their dogs. Got it. Mm. All right. Thank you both very Thank much. You.